Thank you, thank you. What an honor to be able to speak to all of the amazing athletes today. As Coach said, over the past two years, we didn't know when or if we were going to be able to get back to in person activities. And here we are. Here we are today. When I was first asked to address you all, I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know if I was going to have the time to properly prepare what I was going to say. And then I thought about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You must make time to fully celebrate our return. And nobody was better to address us all of the team. So when I'm up here speaking, it's not just on my behalf, it's on behalf of the entire team. And so I decided, all right, what am I gonna say? Do I pull out something from my speech catalog that I said before, or do I write something from scratch? And I said, I'm not gonna pull anything out from my speech catalog because nothing that I had said before would be fitting for today. And so as I sat there and I pulled out my paper and my pencil, and I tried to form the words to express to you all today, I thought I was having writer's block because the only thought that came to my mind was, there's nothing that you can say to motivate and inspire, inspire them. There's nothing you can say to motivate and inspire them. There's nothing you can, and I thought about it, this is not writer's block. This is what we call fact. There's nothing I can say to motivate and inspire you all because it is you all that have inspired and motivated us. And so the only genuine message, authentic message, I, I can stand up here and deliver to you all on behalf of us is a message of thank you. Thank you for being one of the toughest group of athletes at one of the toughest colleges during one of the toughest and so when I think about that message of thank you, and I think about what we all will say, I think about conversations that I have had, and I've had conversations with Coach Pernell, someone that I absolutely admire, an amazing individual in life, a legend in life. And when she talks about her strength, her fight to overcome so much, and she talks about where she draws that from, and she says from God, from her family, and from her athletes. Wow. To mention her athletes in the same sentence as her God and her family. You're so excited. When I think about Gregory, Coach Moss Brown, where you at? When I think about him and our conversations, and he didn't say whatever about his, his men, but you better not say a thing, because he is protective and proud of his men, like a father. And he's someone that I always see is on 10. He works super hard, and he pulls that inspiration for making it happen for his men. And I work hard, but I get exhausted watching him. But he has so much energy because of this soccer team. So inspirational. But when I think about Coach Holly, who I believe have one of the toughest sports to recruit for, because you have to have skill. But numbers don't happen to her. Numbers is not what she draws her passion from. She draws her passion from her committed few. And she makes me feel passionate. You are all so inspirational. Or when I think about Ruth and the amazing woman that she leads. See, this year, the women's cross country team struggled with having the numbers that we needed going to score at nationals. Now, we had competitors that was going to be competitive individually. And I was finally just going and rock the boat on an individual basis, but they wanted to score for us to have a chance at the national championship title. And word got around that we were struggling with those numbers. It got around because of the team and 
for our athletes, they want to play. They let it know, let it be known. We need more in, more girls. I got emails from women on the soccer team. And they said, hey, we got word. We got word that you don't have the numbers you need. I can't promise you I'm gonna come out there and win and do this, but I can promise you we will finish to give you the chance to become national champions. And then there was one individual out there that Coach T did recruit that was dealing with injuries and all this stuff and it interfered with her being able to compete on a cross country team. But she was the soccer team and got healthy, competitive, and then she got hurt too and said, hey, I'm feeling good actually now. If you need me, I'll come back. And she did. So those ladies, not only did they reach out, when we went to the national championship, I turned around and I seen a slew of lots of people coming. I was like, what is this? We got energy. The soccer women came to support one of their own and all of us. They said, where do you need us? And they spread it all over that course and they shared, group hug. We felt so supported. So inspirational. When I think about Coach Stubbs and his amazing men who gave us all something that we needed, that we longed for, reasons to stump, cheer, and clap. For the games I showed up, they weren't just making it through. They were going hard in the paint. And we were screaming and we were yelling. And I was like, wow, this is what we missed. Thank you, fellas. So inspirational. And when I think about Coach T and I, and our team, the joy and the laughter. So yes, they were competitive, but what I remember most is because during such a depressing, hard, stressful time, they gave us reasons to laugh and to believe and to hope and for us to coach up. Thank you, man. Last but not least, our athletic trainers. They made time to do the extra for recovery, injury prevention, and they even set up recovery rooms. They pushed themselves because they see how each and every one of you are pushing yourself. You are literally putting your body at risk because we were on a hiatus for two years of competing. And you put yourself out there. So you all forced us to step up and to make it happen. So thank you. Thank you for being one of the toughest group of athletes at one of the toughest colleges during one of the toughest times. Over these past two years, some of you have experienced loss. Most, if not all of us, have experienced challenges mentally, physically, and emotionally that have stretched and tested us. Some of you did your last two years of high school virtually, first year of college virtually, or on campus with limited people and resources. But you didn't give up. You didn't give up on yourself. You didn't give up on us. You found the athlete inside of you, outside of your sports, to overcome unfortunate mishaps. For yourself and loved ones and for us, and we thank you for that. And because of that, we are here. So what I want right now, coaches, if you can stand up, director, Mandy, if you can stand up, athletic uh, trainers, please stand up. And I want you to turn around and we're going to face these athletes. And on the count of three, we're going to say thank you. But we're not going to have a passive thank you. We're going to have a thank you that comes from the bottom of our stomach to the top of our heart. Because we know students of their age can have conversations for days about feeling tired or not giving their all. Listen, we are here 
right now because of this group. So when I count to three, we're going to tell the same thing. One, two, three. Thank you! Thank you for being one of the toughest group of athletes at one of the toughest colleges during one of the toughest times. Now give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for those words, Coach O'Kelly. Let's give her a round of applause. Coach of the Year, Coach Ella O'Kelly. 